Welcome. I've got a quick one for you that I ran into while working on a couple different vehicles tunes and thought this would be helpful for others. So this has to do with the idle control. So for example, say by default, you just enable a two or three wire PWM idle valve. Your cranking duty cycle uh, has somewhat of a flaw as default. So what happens is, and I've noticed on a couple of different vehicles, is if you just leave these as default and change maybe the duty cycle to get the duty to where you want it, where when you're cranking it fires right up, doesn't give you any hesitations, that is all great until you have passed the highest temperature that the coolant temperature uh, range has here in the default. So say when you're starting your engine from cold, everything's working great, it cranks over and fires up really well, but after you pass 175 degrees Fahrenheit here, and say your engine's at 190 degrees Fahrenheit, you go to crank it, the idle valve by default will be shut off. There's no value over here that extends far enough for it to, uh, to trigger that idle valve. So you'll get a very difficult start sometimes on hot start and it will, it will act very rich because it doesn't have enough air. Um, so the easy way to fix this that I've found is just extending this coolant temperature range to like the highest temperature that you would you would crank at even on a, a very hot day where you've got maybe some uh, heat soak. So you could set this to just like 220 or 200, something like that. And basically all that would do is it just extends the temperature range where you'll still get that 40% duty cycle. Uh, on your PWM idle valve where you're cranking. So now, for example, if you're at like 190 degrees, you'll still get a cranking duty cycle. Your idle air valve will open somewhat and help the car idle. So hopefully that was helpful to some. It's just a little thing that uh, we ran into now that the weather's getting warmer on a couple default base maps that uh, we were tuning, one on an MS2 PNP and one on a micro squirt. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Just a little tip and trick. If you guys like what we're doing here, please consider uh, subscribing or throwing a super thanks out there. Um, we also have channel memberships too if you'd like to see more in-depth behind the scenes. So thanks again. Thanks for watching.